Hi, Adam here from Northwest Slackline, and as another installment in our series of environmental testing, I wanted to know what UV light, you know, what sunlight would do to webbing as far as degrading it, whether it would reduce the brake strength or not. I've seen some rope companies that have done tests on, on slings uh, that have been left out in the sun for years, as well as slings that have been left out for short periods, and my understanding was that um, basically most of the damage is done in the first week of UV exposure. And to me this seems relevant because there are definitely people that put up high lines and leave them up for a week. And I know some people that have, you know, short lines up in their backyard for years on end. So I went to my parents' house where they have some acreage and I put up a line. I put up this orange line, a sterling tech tape webbing, 4,500 br br pound brake strength. It's really good webbing. Uh, and I put that up about 14 or 15 months ago and I just left it up. It was brand new webbing. It had never been walked on. Um, so basically we're controlling specifically for UV exposure. We're not testing used webbing. There's no degradation to it other than it sat in the sun for a long time. And so now we're going to brake test it and see what happens. Since the brake testing is a little bit difficult as far as the strain, I got my friend Mike to help me out. And we're just going to try to slowly stretch this. Um, and as you can see, I've put uh, span sets in place so that when everything blows, nothing can go flying enough to actually come and hit us. And my guess is that it would probably break in the low 3,000 range, that it wouldn't actually be able to get, you know, up to the 4,500 pound brake strength or even anywhere close to that. What really surprised me ultimately is that the brake strength was basically 4,000 pounds on the nose. Um, so okay, it lost 500 pounds of brake strength, but that's still really good considering, first of all, that it sat in the sun for a year or more, and second of all, how sun bleached it actually looks. Um, so I'm, I'm quite impressed with the results of this test. Again, the, consistently, the more I break things that seem like they'll break at a low number, the more I'm impressed that that products are more resilient than they would seem usually. So you can see, you know, here's the side at this particular part at least that wasn't in the sun. It, it, you know, you can see the double tracer stitching that means that it's uh, sterling webbing. And then if you flip it over, you can see it looks like this is part that was actually in the primitive uh, setup. So you can see where it's sun bleached um, and then the part that wrapped the carabiner where it probably was protected from the sun. Um, there are a bunch of, bunch of parts of it that are that are pretty well sun bleached. Again, just sort of comparing one side to the other, you can see the color difference is, is pretty significant. Um, and then this is some of the more fresh stuff. It feels much stiffer in my hands. Um, so it wasn't in the tension system. There's a couple little little burrs or or nicks. I don't know if you can see that one, but um, hold where your left hand is. Okay, that sounds yeah. great. All right, so you can see there's it's a pretty significant color difference here, and then the other thing I'm going to show real quick in the same spot that's in focus is we can see. So you can see it didn't, it didn't really break in an area that was particularly sun bleached. So even though the sun bleached spots look bad uh, to, to our eyes, um, I think the degradation to the line was fairly uniform. Um, and it, it might have actually just been exposure to the elements being heated and, and cooled over and over and over that actually led to some of the degradation in strength. Um, so a 500 pound drop I don't think is, is that scary to be honest for a line that was left outside for over a year um, while rigged in a primitive system. And, you know, it's really just beyond a 10% reduction, if you think of it that way. Um, so that's not so bad at all. I would totally take a 10% reduction in, in my webbing that's been used, you know, more than 300 days in a row. So again, I don't know if you can see, but there's the double tracer stitching that, that sort of tells you it's either sterling or, or balanced community stuff. Um, and it's just much more sun bleached on one side than the other. 
just showing sort of a few few places. Here's a particularly good spot that that uh, definitely was inside uh, the tension system. Because I can just see that, you know, here are the parts that this part must have been wrapping a beaner versus this part wasn't because it's just more sun bleached around that. And then there's a little, there's like a nick here that actually carries through to the other side. Just a little bit of damage there. So thanks for joining us. As always, just a reminder, there are plenty of variables with this webbing that would be different with yours, so this is not necessarily uh, able to be extrapolated to every real-world situation. But in general, I'm actually not all that worried about UV exposure now, at least with nylon tubular webbing. So I'll see you for the next test, hopefully.